time to set up this bad boy. What's up Gadgeteers, my name is Hector and this is Gadget Beard and on this channel I unbox and review everyday tech gadgets and accessories for you. And in today's video we're going to quickly set up my brand new Google Pixel 7 Pro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Boom, right there, get started. So, uh, I'm going to, let's go ahead and try this. Uh, download a SIM instead. Since everybody's going eSIM, let's go ahead and try going eSIM here as well. Download your eSIM next. Catch beard. So I logged on. Let's see what else we're going to have to do right now real quick. T-Mobile. So they didn't give me a QR code, so I guess I have to get a QR code, but let's go ahead and skip that. Uh, let's go ahead and set this up. So that was an epic bill, just like Apple. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Use your old device. Next. Find the old cable. Next. Insert cable into your old device. Next, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this microfiber cough, put this on here. I'm gonna grab my cable and gonna go ahead and transfer the data real quick from my brand new Pixel 7 Pro from my Pixel 6a. And I do have an old cable here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that, connect it to this bad boy, and hit next. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. It's gonna copy all of my data and everything, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and get this up and running. Uh, I'll come back after everything is done and give you a first impressions of the Google Pixel 7 Pro. All right, we're all done setting up. Now I did get a little warm. Uh, it did take about a couple minutes, but right off the back, this thing feels very fluid. It freaking flies. Look at that. I uh, just gotta let it finish updating and, and downloading all the apps here, but this thing is feeling like a rocket here. Look at that. Now I do have a uh, Whitestone Dome film screen protector here. And uh, obviously when I installed it before even setting up the phone, because I like to do that. Uh, but let's see if the fingerprint reader works. And look at that. It works like magic. Now, does it work with the screen off? I don't know if the fingerprint reader works with the screen off. Probably not, but this thing is pretty goddamn fast if I'm not, look at that. Now I did set up my face unlock as well and let's see if that works. And it does. Let's look at that again and it unlocks. Now it doesn't fool up, fully boot up into the interface, but it does unlock and you still have to swipe up with that being said. So there you have it guys. This was just a quick setup video and first impression of the device. It absolutely feels good in hand in it. The speed of the software feels like, whoa. Um, it is pretty fast, very fluid. It, 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 the fingerprint reader automatically feels a lot faster than I was currently using the Pixel 6a. It feels a lot faster than the six, a Pixel 6a, and I am going to compare it to my Pixel 6 Pro, and we'll do a comparison video on that as well and see which one is faster. Uh, but with that being said, uh, if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.